Yes, that is why you are called Jehovah Esher of Days. Yes, that is why you are called Jehovah. Oh, I am the Raya. Yes, what you say you will do. Yes, that is what you will do, Lord. Yes, that is why you are called Jehovah. He share of this. Yes, I so that you are Lord. Yes, I told us you are a share of days. You will never change. Oh, a share of days. I told us you are. Oh, yes, I told us you are, Lord. Yes, you will never change. Oh, yes, a share of days, a share of days, a share of days, as old, a share of days, you will never change. You will never change. As old as you are, oh God, you remain the same. Father, we bless you, we worship you, we exalt you. The lily of the valley, the bright morning star. Abba, we worship you for whom you are. What you say you will do, that is what you will do. You are not a man that you should lie. Neither are you a son of man that you should repent. He said, what that we should say you will do, you will do. Have you said it? And you did not bring it to pass? Father, you remain the same. We acknowledge you. You are God that changes not. You are God. God that changes not, you are God that fails not, you are God that answer. You are the God that gives solution. You are God that open door. You are the God that deliver. You are the God that save. You are the God that will never change. You are not a respecter of any man. Ah, but we worship you. We bless you because you are God over our life. Because you are God over this ministry. Because you are God over our home. Because you are God over the affairs of our life. Ah, but we worship you, we bless your holy name, for you will not respect the enemy to take that glory. You will not respect the enemy to take that glory. You are not a respecter of man. You are not a respecter of man. Ah, but thank you, O God. Ah, but thank you, O God, for making us to dwell in your secret place. For making us to dwell in your secret place. For keeping us safe in your tower. For keeping us safe in your tower. How great are you, O oh God? The Bible says your name is a strong tower. When the righteous run into it, they are saved. I ah, but thank you, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God. Thank you for what you have been doing. Thank you for what you are here to do. And shall of days be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Lord be glorified. Lord be glorified. Lord be glorified. Lord be glorified. For whom you are in our life. Lord, we exalt you because you are God. The Bible says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Abba, thank you for making it possible for we to abide under your shadow. For we to abide under your shadow. The Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous. He said, but the Lord delivered them out of it all. Lord, help us, oh God, we thank you for the help that you are helping us, for the help that you are helping us, for the battles of the day that you cause us to be victorious, and for the battles of the night and that you cause us to be victorious, and for the battle in our life, and you cause us to be victorious, and about we worship you, be thou glorified in the name of Jesus. Be thou exalted, Lord. 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 One thing that I know that you dwell in a place of worship. You dwell in a place of presence. You dwell in a place of humbleness. You dwell in a place of sincerity. You dwell in a place where your people call you by your name. How about we welcome you in this place? For we acknowledge you, Lord. We welcome you in this atmosphere. For we acknowledge you, Lord. A shadow of death, come and take control. Lord, come and take over. Abba, come and take over. You alone, come and have your way. A shadow of death, have your way. For you change us not. 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 Abba, take control. 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 Let your presence. So God, let it be made manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Abba Father. If it is not for the Lord who has been on our side, if it is not for the Lord who has been on our side, we will not be consumed when the enemy come against us. If it is not for the Lord who holds us stronger, if it is not for the Lord who gave us strength to overcome, if it is not for the Lord who helped us to stand still, if it is not for the Lord who lifted up, if it is not for the Lord who make us to see light even at the end of the tunnel, we will not be gone. For one thing that I know, whatsoever the enemy meant for evil, the Lord turned it around for our good. Yes, that God is able, and that God is about to release that happiness. That is a portion of happiness. That is a portion of happiness with your name on it. No matter how Joseph was troubled, his portion of happiness was not taken away, was not taken away by the attackers. No matter the trouble, no matter the challenge, no matter the inner enemy that come against his destiny, but his portions of happiness was not diverted by anyone. Yeah, me as I the Lord, child of God, that is a portion of joy. That is a portion of joy. That is a portion of happiness. That is a portion of fulfillment. That is a portion of hope. That is a portion of upliftment. That the Lord has written your name with him, and that portion of happiness. No matter. No man can divert it. 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 Let your portion of happiness, let it be released in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Oh, my portion of happiness. No matter how the enemy try to suppress it. No matter how they try to suppress it, uh, the portion of your happiness, it will not be taken away. Glory to Jesus. Uh, but we acknowledge you because we can feel your presence. We can see what you are about to do. Lord, we acknowledge you and we give you glory. Thank you, Lord, for the portion of happiness, for the portion of joy, for the portion of fulfillment, for the passion of celebration that you are about to release. Uh, upon the life of your people, not take glory. 
the glory in the name of Jesus. And shall I dance the glory? <laughs> For I saw that you are, you will never change. Lord, take glory in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Whatsoever that stand has seen, we repent, O oh God. If there be an iniquity in us, Lord, search our hearts. Lord, search our hearts. Lord, search our hearts. For I know your hands are not shut in, neither are your ears heavy, that you cannot redeem. But iniquity have separated us from you, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy and let every iniquity in our life, let, be, let it be erased through the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Let thy iniquity be released, erased. Let it be erased by the mercy of God. By the mercy of God, I said, the Lord, search your heart. If there be any holiness, if there be any holiness that the enemy want to stand upon, we stand on the ground of the blood of Jesus. Let that iniquity be erased. Let it be erased by the blood of Jesus. Let it be erased by the blood of Jesus. Let the Lord reconcile you. I said the Lord reconcile you. I said the Lord reconcile you. I said the Lord reconcile you. Let the Lord stretch forth his hands. Let there be healing. Let there be manifestation. Let there be release upon your life and your destiny by the power in the name of Jesus. For the Lord is taking glory. I said the Lord is taking glory. I said the Lord is taking glory. I said the Lord is taking glory by the power in the name of Jesus. Jesus, for the Lord is a throne in your life. I said the Lord is a throne. The powers of the accuser, they are broken in the name of Jesus. Lord, in humbleness, we ask for mercy. One thing that I know you resist the proud and you give grace to the humble. Lord, we pray for forgiveness. If there be any holiness in us, Father, have mercy. Father, have mercy. Father, have mercy. Father, have mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus, as the Lord showed mercy, let every broken heart, let every broken heart, let it be mended in the name of Jesus. Every broken heart, every broken heart, let the Lord meditate. Let the Lord mend your heart. Let the Lord mend your heart. For God has every part of your life. Every part of your life is in the hands of God. Every part of your body, every part of your destiny, it is in the hands of God. Wherever you feel broken, where you are seeking for happiness, where you are seeking for restoration, by the power in the name of Jesus, receive the happiness that you deserve. Receive the happiness that you deserve. Let the run of heaven, let it wash away every pain, let it wash away every sorrow, let it wash away every confusion, let it wash it away. Let the run of heaven, let it fall upon you by the power in the name of Jesus. We are rather you deserve the happiness. We are rather you seek God for happiness by the power in the name of Jesus. The happiness is releasing. Your happiness is releasing. There is a portion of happiness with your name on it. By the power in the name of Jesus, let your passion, let your passion, let your passion, let your passion, let your passion of happiness. Let it be released. Let it be released. Let it be released by the mercy of God. Let the rain of heaven. Let it wash away every sorrow. For the Lord is second glory. The Bible says, as I am second, the Lord will not be silenced. For Jerusalem's sake, Lord, have mercy upon this soul. Have mercy upon this soul. Have mercy upon this soul. Father, they are at the crossroad. They are at the crossroad. Arise and show mercy. For Zion will not be forsaken. Zion will not be forsaken. Let your passion of happiness, let it be released. Whatsoever that has been blocking this happiness, whatsoever that has caused you brokenness, ah, let the Lord repair you. Let the Lord repel and mend everything that concerns 
your life. Yes, let there be an amendment. Let there be an amendment. We serve a God that restore. It should have days before the throne of grace and mercy. Let it portrait before your God. Let there be a release of all these destinies. Let there be a release of happiness. This is not to the glory of man. This is not to the glory of man. For your glory you shall with no man. About the glory to yourself in this life. Eh? In the name of Jesus. Let the glory of the Lord. Let the glory of the Lord. Let it be released. Let it be released in the name of Jesus. We are rabbi you are. Let every broken heart. Let it be made that in the name of Jesus. That is healing in the word of God. That is healing in the power of the Lord. Yes. For the Lord is healing us. For the Lord is healing us. Let your passion of happiness. Let it be released in the name of Jesus. I say your passion. Your passion. Your passion. Your passion. Your passion. Your passion. Let it be released now. By the power in the name of Jesus. La Koba Shanda Libarata. Ella do basunda lika boshanda lata redada lika de bakalata and i see this person you deserve to be happy god is able to fix you hear me once again god is able to fix you and that god is fixing your life god is able to amend everything that needs to be amended in your life god is able to restore even where there is no hope god is able to deliver where there seems to be no deliverance and that god is giving you hope by the power in the name of jesus the lord is your rock and your salvation the lord is your rock and your refuge the god that is your rock the god that is your refuge the god is fixing your life let every brokenness let it be fixed in the name of jesus the bible says in the book of philippians chapter 4 the bible said rejoice in the lord always the bible said always thou shall rejoice in the lord and he said again rejoice he said again rejoice the bible made it clear to us that the only source of a true happiness is in the lord is in the lord the only true happiness the only source of a true happiness can be found only in god for god is our giver it is our life giver let god fix your life let every brokenness let it be fixed in the name of jesus we are wherever you are receive that reason to rejoice i say again i say again i say again begins to rejoice 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 for your passion of happiness it is released in the name of jesus it is released in the name of jesus oh there is a passion of happiness with your name in each other of god by the power in the name of jesus let the angels of the lord let them deliver your own package you will not miss your passion 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 by the power in the name of jesus receive your happiness receive your happiness receive your happiness receive your happiness by the power in the name of jesus even in that hard time in the hardship the lord is giving you happiness in the midst of drought the lord is giving you happiness in the midst of you the lord is giving you plenty in the midst of confusion the lord is giving you direction in the midst of waywardness the lord is giving you sanity in the midst of depression the lord is giving you rest by the power in the name of jesus
spring for time. Let it 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 spring for time. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Psalm. He said, for his anger is for a moment, but his favor is life. The favor of God is life. And the Bible said, weeping may endure for a night. The Bible specifically said a night. In other words, for a short while. That short while of hardship will not become an everlasting thing. That short while of pain will not become years of pain. That short while of challenges will not become everlasting challenges. But the power in the name of Jesus, let the Lord amen your ways. Let the Lord amend your heart. Let the Lord amend your situation. By the power in the name of Jesus and I decree and I declare receive the life favor. Receive a lifetime favor. Receive a lifetime favor. Receive a lifetime favor. By the power in the name of Jesus. Let the weeping come to an end. Let the weeping come to an end. Let the weeping come to an end. By the power in the name of Jesus. For your joy have come I say your joy have come, your joy have come, your joy have come, your joy have come. It is a new dawn, 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 it is a new dawn. By the power in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. It is a new dawn. It is a new dawn. La Cobo Shata. Arada da la Gada Barata. Can you open your mouth and pray? Lord, this is the area where I need to be happy. Lord, give me a life favor in this area. Favor me in life in this particular place where I feel broken. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and pray. What is that area where you need? Need to be happy. Where is that place where you need fulfillment? Can you present it before God? The Bible says in the book of John, John chapter 16, verse 24. And the Bible says, Until now, you have asked nothing in my name. He said, Ask and you would receive that your joy may be full. Can you begin to ask God, Father, this is where I need your happiness. This is where I need the happiness. This is where I need it. Lord, I need to be happy in this area. As you mentioned that place from your mouth to the ears of God, let your joy be full in that area. Let your joy be full. Let your joy be full. I don't know that area where you feel broken, where you feel let in life, but as you begin to ask God for a life favor in that area, you shall receive the fullness of joy, your joy will be full in that particular situation, your joy will be full, I say your joy will be full, I say your joy will be full, open your mouth and pray, you will not be broken, you will not be broken, you will not be broken. You will not be broken. By the power in the name of Jesus, let the fullness of joy, let it come into your life. In the name of Jesus, let your joy be full. Let your joy be full. Let your joy be full. Wherever you need God. And I see somebody say, I need healing. I see another person say, I need my own home. I see another person say, I want my children to recognize me and respect me. I see another person say, I just want rest in life. I see another person say, I want to be successful. We are over area that you are asking the Lord for happiness. Receive that fullness of joy. In that area, in the name of Jesus, receive the fullness of joy. All oh, the rain of heaven, all oh, the rain of heaven, the Bible says, Oh, taste and see, for the Lord is good. Oh, taste and see. For the Lord is good. He said, Blessed is the man who trusted in him. Blessed is the man who trusted in the Lord. Blessed is the man who trusted in the Lord. He said, Test and see that the Lord is good. Let the rain of heaven begin to fall, but let open the heavens. Let the rain of heaven. 
Let the rain of heaven, let it heal. Let it heal, God. I don't know. I just feel somebody breaking down. This really break my heart. Let the rain of heaven, let it locate you in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are asking God for a fullness of joy, receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, oh, test and see that the Lord is good. He said, blessed is the man that trusted in him. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Because you trusted in the Lord. Because you trusted in the Lord. Let there be fullness of joy. Yes, your joy comes in the morning. I say it is a new dawn by the power in the name of Jesus. It is a new dawn. 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 By the power in the name of Jesus. By the mercy of God. Let it be a new dawn in your life. In your household, in the name of Jesus, and you don't, and you don't, and you don't, and you don't, in your life, in the mighty name of Jesus, from today, let it be known that you test of the Lord, you test of the goodness of God, let the happiness that has your name written on it, let the angels of the Lord, let it be delivered into your home, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, I said the package that contain your name, <coughs> the package of happiness that contain your name, the package of happiness that contain your destiny. I said the package, receive your passion in the name of Jesus. Receive your passion in the name of Jesus. Receive your passion. Receive your passion of happiness by the power in the name of Jesus. I prophesy your weeping days are over. Your weeping days are over. Your weeping days are over. The Bible says weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. But joy comes in the morning. By the power in the name of Jesus, walk into joy. 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 By the power in the name of Jesus, I say your weeping days are over. They are over. They are over. They are over. By the power in the name of Jesus. He said, until now, until now, you have asked nothing in my name. Some of us will knock God instead of asking from the Lord. We knock God and we are like, oh, yesterday, God, I thought you were going to give me that 10,000 euro. I thought you were going to give me this house. I thought you were going to give me this car. Oh, I'm not even sure if you remember me anymore. All that's are getting testimony. God has forsaken me. Some of us, we use our mouth to draw problems, to draw the accuser into our life into our life today when i hear this word my heart was broken it's because sometimes it is hard for me to remove my heart from what i do i am a human being i understand i understand i might not fully understand what you are going through but i know how it feels when somebody wants to be happy but yet the person cannot find that happiness you just desire the happiness it just feels as if every day is a battlefield. You just want to be happy. All you want is to be happy. All you want is to be happy and have a new day. I have a beautiful day, but it seems as if it's very far. I know how it feels, child of God. I have been there. I have been there. And we are still on that journey. We are still on that journey. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. But the Bible says, the Bible said the man, that trusted in God, that put his trust on him. He said, bless shall he be. Bless shall he be. Bless shall he be. Hallelujah. That man that put his trust in the Lord. <clears throat> that man that put his trust in the Lord. That man shall be blessed. 
You are that man that God is blessing today. You are that man that God is healing today. You are that man that deserves to be happy. You are that man that deserves to have rest. You are that man that deserves that testimony. And God is giving you that testimony, child of God. Yes, you might be looking at yourself and say, oh, it is over for me, Lord, child of God. It is not over for you. Why? Because Zion will not be cast away. Zion will not be forsaken. Zion will not be ignorant. Hallelujah. There will be deliverance. And the house of Jacob will possess their possession. By the power in the name of Jesus, I join my faith with everyone that is tired. That is tired. That is tired of that experience. I join my faith. The Bible says one will chase after a thousand. He said, but two witches after 10,000. By the power in the mighty name of Jesus, in agreement, I pray for you. In agreement, I pray for you. Receive that joy that comes in the morning from today in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. Receive that full package of happiness. That full package of happiness. That no power can turn to sorrow. That no power can turn to sadness. That no power can turn to pain. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare by the power in the name of Jesus, as you test of the Lord today, you shall testify of his goodness. As you test of the Lord today, you shall testify of his goodness. And I, I, I dream my faith to your faith. Your weeping days are over. 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 Your your weeping days are over. Your weeping days are over. Your weeping days are over. I decree and I declare. Receive a package of happiness in your household. A package full of happiness. A package full of happiness. It is your passion by the power in the name of Jesus. A package full of happiness. It is your passion. 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 A new day. A new dawn, a new joy, a new reason to celebrate. Receive it in the name of Jesus. You deserve to be happy. Receive that happiness. Receive that happiness. Receive that happiness. Receive that happiness. By the power in the name of Jesus, let there be a reason, a reason for you to be happy. It is released in the name of Jesus. Let it be released. Receive that reason. Receive that reason for you to rejoice. For you to rejoice in the Lord, let the reason, let it be released, let it be released by the power in the name of Jesus. I say your reason of happiness, your reason, the reason for you to be happy. The Lord is giving it to you in the mighty name of Jesus. There will be a reason. There will be a reason. Let every broken heart let it be amended in the name of Jesus. Receive the reason to celebrate. Receive the reason to smile again. Let God award you your portion of happiness at the side of your amen. I said the Lord award you your own portion of happiness. Your own passion of happiness, the happiness that comes from within, receive it in the name of Jesus. I said the happiness that comes with satisfaction, receive it in the name of Jesus. The happiness that bring joy, that bring joy, receive it in the name of Jesus. I said the happiness, receive it in the name of Jesus. Let every laden heart, every laden and heavy labor, let it be taken away, let it be taken away, let the Lord did be taken away by the power in the name of Jesus. The Bible said, come unto me.
every heavy labor. Let it be broken out of your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. If you are just joining us, can you go on and like the word of God? Take a second to share the word of God. There is somebody uh, there is somebody out there also that is praying for happiness, that is feeling so heavy, that don't even know where to turn to anymore. Be the reason why that person can turn to God. Because the only true happiness is in Christ Jesus. Can you take a second to share the word of God? As you are being encouraged, as the Lord is blessing you, as the Lord is giving you full package of happiness, can you also announce it that someone else can also share of the goodness of God? Take a second and like the word of God, child of God. Take a second and share the word of God with us. God bless everyone that are sharing and God bless everyone that are liking the word of God. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray. Anyone under the sound of my voice with a heavy labor, with a heavy heart, with a heavy heart, the Lord is taking it away in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is taking it away in the name of Jesus. God bless everyone connecting with their seed. That seed is a seed of full package of happiness. The Lord bless us for that full package of happiness. You are receiving it in the name of Jesus. Anyone other than the sound of my voice. Anyone other than the sound of my voice. That feels so heavy. That feels so heavy. Whatever you are. Can you just lift up your hands unto heaven. The hand of the Lord is about to touch you. It is not the hand of evangelist Sarah. I am just a human being. The hand of the Lord is about to touch you. Yes. <clears throat> And you are going to see that that happy heaviness is disappearing. The Lord is taking away every, every heavy labor. 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 As your hands are lifted up unto heaven, let the heavy labor be taken away in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, that heavy labor, let it be taken away now in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, your weeping days have come to an end by the power in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the angel of the Lord, let them move. Lord, take glory to yourself. Abba, we give you glory, honor, adoration. At the sound of the amen of this person, the heaviness is gone in the name of Jesus. The Bible said, come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy lady. I will give you rest. Let every heavy lady, let it be broken out of your life now in the name of Jesus. Receive that full package of happiness. Receive that full package of happiness. Yes. Receive that full package of happiness. Yes. The Lord is giving you a reason. There will be a reason. A reason for you to rejoice. A reason for you to rejoice. A reason for you to rejoice. A reason for you to be happy. A reason for you to smile again. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. God is taking away from your life every heavy labor, every heavy lady. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is done. By the power in the name of Jesus, a reason to be happy. A reason to be happy. He has entered your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and I declare. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 15 verse 13. I decree and I declare, receive that happiness, receive that happiness, receive that happiness that come with satisfaction, receive that happiness that come with satisfaction. I said the Lord remove every unsatisfaction by the power in the name of Jesus. Do you know why I am passionate about this prayer? Today when the Lord was giving me this word. And the Lord opened my eyes to so many things, you know. And, you know, there are people who think that 
when they have this particular thing, they will be happy. They will be happy, like they will say, okay, when I have a job, I'm going to be so happy, all my problem is going to be so solved. But when they get their job, they are still not happy. There are people that are like, oh, when I have this car, I am going to be so happy. But they got their car. Still, they are not happy. There are people who said, okay, if God bless me with a wife, bless me with a husband, bless with me children, I will be so happy. That is where my happiness will come. And they have these things. Yes, they find it difficult to be happy. That is when you need to realize that it is the enemy have taken away the happiness, the satisfaction of that person. So you need to pray. You need to pray that God will restore your happiness. There are people, they have just a little something. They don't even have the money that other people have. But yet they are so happy. They are so happy. Somebody will say, oh, when God give me a car that has a very good car, that the engine, everything. But yet God give them the car. But there is no happiness. There is no happiness. So this is it. This is it, child of God. This is it, child of God. We need to resist the devil. We need to resist the devil because the enemy is just trying to steal as many, as many peace as possible from the heart of the children of God. That is why we must remain steadfast in the Lord. The only true happiness that we can find is God. It is in God. Hallelujah. It is in God. There are people, you look at them, you are like, ah, if I have half of what this person has, I will be so happy. But the person that has all these things, they, they are still miserable. That is why you see even the rich people. They go to rehab, they fall into depression. You see a rich man, you see a wealthy celebrity, all of that. Why? Because true satisfaction, true satisfaction comes from God. True satisfaction does not come with what a man have in life. If true satisfaction come with what a man have in life, you will not have seen this celebrity or this worldly celebrity that has all the money in the world still being unhappy, having divorce here and there. True happiness comes from the Lord. When the Lord gives you true happiness, you wake up every morning, you will find a reason to be joyful. When the Lord gives you a home, you will find joy in that home. When God gives you marriage, you will find joy and happiness in that marriage. The enemy is out there fighting the believers, fighting their home, fighting their happiness, bringing all sorts of confusion so that they will not be happy. This really broke my heart today because when, when I was just meditating on this topic and I hear this word, somebody, you have given your all. But yet there is this unheavy, there is this heaviness that will not go away. But God is taking that heaviness away. You will find joy. You will find joy and the Lord will give you satisfaction. The Lord will give you satisfaction. That is why we see that wickedness have increased on earth. Why? Because no matter what people have, they are not satisfied. You see, even the richest people in the world, you see them fighting against the righteous just for them to have. You see somebody that has mansion, that has everything, is fighting against somebody that just wants a three-bedroom apartment. You are like, ah, ah, this person have everything. Why? Because there is no satisfaction in them. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be happy. Every child of God has a package full of happiness from him, for him or her. 
And this is what the enemy has been fighting. You gave your all, but yet it seems as if you have not given anything. You've done a lot. It seems as if you are not doing anything. You, you, you just, it just feels so complicated. That is why many people, many young people, they go into depression. They gave in their best. The world make, it, make them to feel as if even their best is not good enough. Hallelujah. Child of God, you will find happiness again from today. Even as I was praying, I see somebody was crying. Tears were falling off. God, I want to be happy. I want to be happy. And God is giving you that happiness in the name of Jesus. I am not sure to say this word today, but this is how God had me to, hand, to deliver this message. This is how God had me to deliver that, this message. There is happiness in your life again. There is happiness in your life again. There is happiness in your life again. You will find a reason to be joyful because this heaviness, it is a way that the enemy wants to try to reduce the last power of so many people. But we say no. We say no. Hallelujah. We say no. We say no. We say no. Glory to Jesus. Glory, Abba Father. Glory, Abba Father. Glory, Abba Father. That wish that you need. Sometimes there are things that a man also needs to be to look to be a man. You cannot be, you know, you are living on this earth as a child of God, as a man, as a woman. You can't afford a home. You can't afford even beautiful things of this life. Though your mind is not set on the things of the world, you cannot even afford comfort. It can also lead to heaviness. But God is giving us that comfort. Hallelujah. It can also lead to sadness. I'm telling you the truth. When a man feels lesser of his equal, he looks at everyone. They are like, ah, my equal. I've done all I can to achieve good things in life. I've done all I can. To do this, to do that, but yet it seems as if I'm not achieving that happiness. It can lead to frustration. It can lead to frustration. So that is where, where I was praying. When I quoted that part of the Bible, it said, yeah, I have not asked anything in my name. It said, ask now, and I will give it to you. Whatsoever you ask, whatsoever you are, uh, you are, Whatsoever you ask of the Lord, that area where you need happiness, you are receiving it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Can you prophesy that word upon yourself? I receive my full package of happiness. The happiness of the Lord come with joy. And sorrow is not added to it. The blessings of the Lord come with fulfillment. And sorrow is not added to it. The blessings of the Lord come with comfort. And discomfort is not added to it. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Receive that inner happiness that will brighten your day. And everyone around you in the name of Jesus. Receive that happiness. Receive that happiness. Receive that happiness that will brighten your day that inner happiness that will brighten your day and everyone around you in the name of jesus wherever you are wherever you are wherever you are i decree and i declare receive that inner happiness that will brighten your day 
that will brighten your day and everyone around you in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive that full package of happiness. Receive that inner happiness that comes with satisfaction. Receive that inner happiness that comes with fulfillment by the power in the name of Jesus. Receive that inner happiness that will brighten your life and that will brighten everyone around you in the mighty name of Jesus for the full package of happiness. It is delivered into your life and into your home by the power in the name of Jesus. Receive the full package of happiness that will brighten your day, that will brighten everyone around you in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and I declare a reason, a reason to be happy, a reason not to be happy, a reason to be happy in your life and in your destiny by the power in the name of Jesus. Receive that reason, receive that reason, receive that reason, receive that reason, a reason to be happy in your life and in your destiny by the power in the name of Jesus. Let that inner peace, inner happiness, let it enter your life in the name of Jesus. I speak inner peace. In the happiness upon your life, eh? in the mighty name of Jesus, I speak in the peace, eh? in the happiness upon your life, eh? by the power in the name of Jesus, let the happiness flow from within in the name of Jesus, let that joy flow from within in the name of Jesus, let that that you are letting flow from within in the name of Jesus. For your weeping days are over. Let you are begin to flow. You are like a river. You are like a river. You are like a river. Happiness like a river that will never go dry. Let it flow in your life by the power in the name of Jesus. Receive that happiness. Receive that happiness that will continue to flow. That will continue to flow. That will continue to flow. That will never run dry. That will never run dry. I shall receive that in a peace by the power in the name of Jesus. In a peace, in a peace, in a peace that will bring brightness into your life by the power in the name of Jesus. I shall receive that joy overflow. That joy overflow. Likaba sundalata. Rada da ligaba sundalata. Imakala bashata. Happiness like that of a river that can never go dry. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Yes, that is joy overflow in your life in the name of Jesus. Let that inner happiness. Let it begin to flow. 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 Let it begin to flow by the power in the name of Jesus. Inner happiness begins to flow in your home, in your life, and in your destiny. By the power in the name of Jesus, receive that inner peace. Receive that inner peace. Let that be joy overflow. Joy like a river that will never go dry. You deserve to be happy. And the Lord has given you that joy overflow. The Lord has given you that inner happiness. The Lord has given you that joy that never run dry. By the power in the name of Jesus, let that joy begin to flow. Let it continue to flow. Let it continue to flow. Let it continue to flow. By the power in the name of Jesus. In the happiness, in the joy. In the peace is your portion. By the power in the name of Jesus. A reason to smile again. A reason to dwell in happiness. A reason to celebrate again. A reason to shine again. It is your passion from today. By the power in the name of Jesus. We push back every weeping in the name of Jesus. We push them back to her. We push weeping back to her. We push weeping back to her. Receive your full of joy. Receive your fullness of happiness by the power in the name of Jesus. Joy is in your home. Joy is in your home. Inner happiness is in your home. By the power in the 
the name of Jesus, that joy that comes with satisfaction, the inner peace that comes with satisfaction. It is your passion in the name of Jesus. Can you quickly go to the book of Romans? Just confess that word upon yourself. I have that inner happiness from today. There is joy overflow. Yes, I receive that inner peace. I receive that inner peace. I receive that inner peace. I deserve to be happy. My full package of happiness, it is releasing. Just prophesy that word. You are your best prophet. Child of God, prophesy that word. Prophesy the word from your mouth to the ears of God. Inner happiness is your portion. Inner peace is your portion. Inner joy is your portion. By the power in the name of Jesus. Inner peace and inner happiness. It is your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, I receive my full package of happiness. I receive my full package of happiness. There is inner happiness within me. It brought in my day and it brought in everyone around me. In the name of Jesus. Confess that word. Confess that word. Confess that word. Confess that word. Hallelujah. Confess that word. Confess that word. Yes. I have inner happiness. I deserve to be happy. From today, I receive that inner peace. I receive overflow. I receive overflow. I receive overflow. I receive overflow. Of happiness in the name of Jesus. Can you quickly open your Bible to the book of Romans, chapter 15? Let's go to the book of Romans, chapter 15. Let's go to the book of Romans, chapter 15. God bless you, family. You have not liked the video, go on and touch the like button. God bless you. Everyone connecting with our seed, God bless you. I see other seed that are coming in. Yes. That seed shall give you an overflow of happiness. And that seed puts an end to your weeping days. I bless that seed for a full package of happiness. If you are in the book of Romans chapter 15, open to verse 13. It is a popular verse. The Bible says, Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace. In believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost, that you may abound, that you may continue in it, that you may remain in it. In other words, nothing should remove you from it. That the Lord will fill you with all joy and peace in believing. Because you believe in God, God is filling you today with that inner peace in the name of Jesus. You shall find comfort in your life, comfort in your idea, Comfort in your home by the power in the name of Jesus. I prophesy upon your life. Eh? From today, you find comfort in your home. You find comfort in life. Eh? Wherever you go, the comfort is there. Wherever you go, the comfort is there. Wherever you go, the comfort is there. I say the comfort is there. By the power in the name of Jesus, you shall find comfort in your life. Eh? You shall shall find comfort in your home and you shall come find comfort and in every area of your life and find comfort find comfort yes you have that comfort you have that comfort the lord has given you that comfort the lord has given you that comfort the lord has given you that comfort in the idea of life and you find comfort in it and by the power in the name of jesus i say go and eat your bread with joy According to the word of God in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9, chapter 9 verse 7, I decree and I declare, go your way, eat thy bread with joy and drink thy wine with a merry heart.
in the mighty name of Jesus, you will not eat your bread in sorrow. You will not drink your wine in sorrow. By the power in the name of Jesus, from today, a reason for your heart to be merry always. It is your portion in the name of Jesus. Can you just celebrate God? I receive my full happiness. I receive my full package of happiness. There is an inner peace. Just give God all the glory. As you give God all the glory, let the Lord sanctify. Let the Lord sanctify. Let the Lord sanctify that inner happiness. No power can take it away. By the power in the name of Jesus, there is an inner happiness for you from today. In the name of Jesus, can you give God all the glory? Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, worship of days. Father, we bless your holy name. We exalt you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for this inner happiness that will brighten the day of your children every day and brighten everyone around them in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for this full package of happiness in this life. In the mighty name of Jesus, you alone deserve the glory. We return all the glory. For your glory you shared with no man. Take all the glory in the name of Jesus. Take all the glory in the name of Jesus. Take all the glory in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' precious name we give thanks. Amen. Hallelujah. You are under the sound of my voice. You are feeling sick. I pray for you. Wherever you feel sick in your body, Receive health in the name of Jesus. Yes, let there be an inner peace. Let there be an inner peace in your body. In the name of Jesus, whatsoever that stands as sickness in that body, we rebuke it in the name of Jesus. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. You are healed by the Lord. For in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 God bless everyone. God bless everyone that are liking the video that are helping us to share. And God bless you that are connecting with seed. If the Lord has blessed you with this word, you are led to sow in a seed. You can go on and sow the seed. You can call your seed my seed of full package of happiness. You can call that seed my seed of inner peace. You can call that seed the seed of a new dawn. You can call that seed my seed of a new dawn. And the Lord shall give you a new dawn in the name of Jesus. You are sowing a seed. You are paying your tithe, your offering. You can do that through paper, through cash out, through super chat, whatever way the Lord leads you. And the Lord shall bless you abundantly, willingly, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless all the givers. God bless all the givers. All our partners, may the Lord bless you all, in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are under the sound of my voice, wherever you are, you are not born again or you are born again, I want you to always remember that the most important thing that you have in life, it is your salvation. Please always put your salvation in check. Put your salvation in check. It is very, very important. Put your salvation in check. Put your salvation in check. I say again, your work with God is very important. Your work with God is very important. That is the most important thing that you have as a child of God. I want you to say this prayer after me. I want you to say this prayer after me, Lord Jesus, I come before you today as a sinner. Just as I am, O oh God, forgive me my sins. You raise my name from the book of death and write my name in the book of life. I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. Come into my heart. Dwell with me, Lord. Help me to serve you and help me to know you. I believe that you, you died on the cross of Calvary. On the third day you were risen. You sit at the right hand of God the Father. I decree and I declare from today, I am born again. I am a child of God. For in Jesus' precious name, amen. If you say that prayer, congratulations. Heaven rejoice if one soul is saved. In this ministry, we encourage reading the word of God. Because a Christian without the word of God is empty. A Christian without the word of God is empty. So you must put the word of God before you. The Bible says, the book of the Lord shall not, it shall not depart out of thy mouth. Thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Our text for today is the book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 7. That is our text for today. As you study the word of God, 
God will bless you abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory, Abba Father. Glory, Abba Father. For every seed that was planted in this ministry today, God that sees us in the secret and reward in the open, let that God reward every hands that give with abundance in the name of Jesus. And I pray you reap in thousand fold, you reap in hundred folds. In multiplication, let the Lord multiply you, your fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. And I bless other seed for inner happiness. That we should ask for the Lord through that seed. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Let the seed stand as a covenant between you and God that bring inner peace into your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord bless your source and multiply you always in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not lack any good thing in life. The Bible says, whatsoever a man so he shall reap. You have sacrificed your money. Then the Lord shall give you abundance of that wealth that you ask for. In the name of Jesus, to the glory of God, not to the glory of man. Yes, receive that inner happiness. Receive that brighter days. In the name of Jesus, we bless the seed. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. Goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. I pray for you. In guardians, the Lord is guiding you. In protection, the Lord is protecting you. In preservation, the Lord is preserving you. I pray for you, no weapon, form, or fashion against you that will prosper. I pray for you. You're going out, you are blessed by the Lord. You're coming home, you are blessed by the Lord. And I pray for you, child of God. Every counter attack is rebuke in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray for you. The inner peace that the Lord has given to you today, no man, no power will steal it in the name of Jesus. You shall return with a testimony of fullness of joy. You shall return with a testimony of a brighter days. You shall return with a testimony of our brothers in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' precious name, the Lord has given you a reason to be happy. Hallelujah. Go and celebrate. Go and celebrate. Can you say to yourself, my head is blessed. My hands are blessed. My feet are blessed. Everything is blessed. I am the Lord's anointed. My head and my glory are not for sin. You are the anointed of the Lord. The enemy will not buy your head. They will not buy your glory. God bless you, family. I love you all. I love you so, so much. By the grace of God, we'll see ourselves on our next prayer session. God bless you, family. I love you. Hallelujah.